Today, we're going to show you how to update your compatible Garmin Marine Devices software using the Active Captain app with your compatible Android smartphone or tablet. For this video, we will be updating a GPS map, but the process is similar for all other Garmin Marine Devices. For this process, you will need a SD or micro SD card. Chart plotters can have different maximum card sizes. Please refer to the link below to determine the appropriate card size to use as your Active Captain memory card. It is recommended to purchase a micro SD card that includes a full size adapter. This will allow use with any device. First, locate and download the Active Captain app from the Google Play Store. Open the Active Captain app once the download is complete. Read and agree to the terms. Select Next. Select Create One and fill in your information if you do not already have an account. Otherwise, enter your Garmin account's email and password and select Next. The Active Captain app will now offer to take you on a tour of the features. Follow the tour or select Skip. In this video, we will select Skip. We will now need to set up the Wi-Fi network on the Garmin GPS map. Select the Home button. Select Vessel, Active Captain, and Wi-Fi network. Toggle Wi-Fi on and select OK to configure the Wi-Fi network for the first time. Name your Garmin Marine Devices Wi-Fi network. Make sure to give the network a unique name to avoid confusing it with other nearby networks. Select Done. Now you will create a unique password. This should be at least eight characters long. Then select Done. Now you need to connect your Android smartphone to your Garmin Marine Devices Wi-Fi network. Close the Active Captain app and navigate to your Android smartphone settings. Select Connections. Select Wi-Fi. Connect to the Garmin GPS Maps Wi-Fi network. Type in the password you created earlier. Select Connect. Navigate back to the Active Captain app. Next, the Garmin Marine device will ask if your Active Captain account is the owner of the vessel. Select Yes, then select Done. Select OK when a new Active Captain user has been added. Now we will create the Active Captain memory card for the Garmin Marine device. Tap Select Card. Insert the SD card in the device. Then select Set Active Captain Card. You will now be asked to format the card. This is recommended, but will completely erase everything on the card. It is not recommended to use a pre-programmed chart card for this purpose. Select Yes to completely erase the memory on the SD card. The Garmin Marine device will now create the Active Captain memory card. Select My Marine Devices from the Boat Apps tab. The Active Captain app will ask you to disconnect from the Garmin Wi-Fi network to download available software updates to your Android smartphone or tablet. You will need to reconnect back to your local Wi-Fi network or cellular data. Navigate back to the Active Captain app and My Marine Devices. Select Download. The Active Captain app will prompt you to connect to the Garmin Wi-Fi network to transfer the software update. Navigate back to the Active Captain app and the update will begin to transfer. Do not close the Active Captain app. This may pause or cancel the transfer. Wait until the validation shows 100%. The Garmin Marine device will now prompt you to update the software now or later. Note, make sure that all Marine Networks and NMEA 2000 devices are connected and powered on before updating the system software. The software update prompt will disappear after a period of time. Select Software Updates in the Active Captain tab. Select Install Now. The updates will take an extended period of time to complete and must not be interrupted. Select Yes. Note, make sure power is not removed from the Garmin Marine device while updates are in process. This can damage your unit. The software update will now begin to install. A loading software page will appear. Your chart plotter will restart once before finishing the download.
the Garmin Marine device will prompt you to restart after the download is complete. Select Restart. The chart plotter will now restart and load the new software. And that's it. For more help, please visit marinesupport.garmin.com. Thanks for watching.